Hey everybody, welcome back to Projects with Paul. Uh, we're down here at the project house today and we're going to do a little tractor work. I got a couple of trees I'm going to take out and maybe scrape this driveway a little bit. It's a little rough. So I brought my tractor down here. <clears throat> it's the first time I've towed it on the road with these new tie downs, but everything worked fine. Two straps in the front. Chain in the back with a binder. Nothing loosened up at all. Nice and tight. <clears throat> so anyway. I also brought my water tank that goes over on my uh, property on the other side of the street. And I got my Titan pallet forks in there so we can get that out of the truck and take it over to the property. We'll do that later, but main reason I came down is to take these two trees out. They're dead or dying and they're just in the way. Can't see good around the yard with them. So we're going to take them out. So we're going to try and uh, I've got a Everything attachments, wicked tooth bar, bolted to my bucket. It's a little rusty now, but we'll knock that rust off here pretty quick. So we're gonna dig them out and uh, try to get the whole stump and everything out. So we'll do a little digging around it and see if we can pop it out of the ground. So let me get set up here and we'll see how it goes. All right, this is a wicked tooth bar made by Everything Attachments. And it's been sitting for a little while, but that dirt will knock that rust right off there, just like sandblasting it. But you can see it's got some pretty, pretty sharp teeth on it. I've used it before over on the property, pulling out small trees or digging out small trees and stumps. And they build it to fit your bucket, so you have to give them the measurements they ask for. And if you're mounting it on a Branson and you have this uh, bubble built into your bucket for strength, the hole falls out right in it. But it worked fine, just drilled right through it. Put the nut bolt that was supplied with it. No problem. If anybody has a Branson 2515 and needs the dimensions for their bucket, I have them. So if you want to get one of these, they're a little pricey, it's about 400 bucks, but that was delivered to the house. Took me maybe 30, 40 minutes to install it, drill two big holes, tap it on there, and these little teeth, they grab onto the, this is the, the bucket cutting edge, and these just slide over it. <clears throat> Grips on there pretty good. So let me get the camera set up, where you can all watch me dig at the base of these things and try to get them plucked out of the ground. All right.
guess you can see that didn't take very much effort at all. Pluck that sucker right out of the ground. <clears throat> I'll drag that back to the woods and uh, have to maybe get some dirt filling this little bit of a hole, but not too bad. Made pretty quick work of that. It's not much of a tree, so. <clears throat> Let's do a little more work with this thing and see how it goes. I got another one here to do and then probably gonna do that one there out by the road. <clears throat> Let's try it again. expected it to. It has a pretty shallow root system. I was just shaking them around trying to get all the dirt off the root ball there. So anyway, yeah, you can see how quickly it'll, it knocks that rust right off there. When I, uh, <clears throat> later on I'll go over to the property and we'll do some digging in the dirt. I got some little small hills over there I can dig in and uh, maybe get a little better shot of it actually digging down in the dirt. So See how it goes. All right, guys, got the camera set up here on a little hill. I'm going to do some digging, see how it looks.
All right, that was my demonstration of the EA Wicked Tooth Bar, digging in some pretty hard red clay, Georgia clay. And it was getting almost full buckets every time. There it is. We knocked the rust right off that thing. <clears throat> Keep in mind, this is just a 25 horsepower tractor. Branson 2515H hydrostatic. But it does pretty good for its size. No problem digging, especially with this tooth bar. So there you have it. This is uh, my four acres across the street from my project house. I just brought the uh, water tank over here with my forks and I had to take the forks back and put them on the truck. So. I'll get that thing filled up with water and put a hose on it. I got a little 12 volt pump. One of my first videos I did, it hooks into my trailer hitch wiring. And I can use it to uh, keep that under control when I start burning pretty soon here when the burn ban lifts. So that's it, beautiful day here. Had some fun working on the tractor today. Anyway. Thanks for watching Projects of Paul. See you next time. Bye.